Rosalka Soap Studio. Today, I will be showing you how I've made the African Zebra Stripe Soap with activated charcoal and tea tree essential oil. I started by blending my main soap batter to light almost close to medium trays and then dividing it equally in two parts. So I'm just checking the angle of my mold and then I'm gonna pour soap into a smaller jug so that it's easier to go for the soap batter to go down the wall. Let's get the mold ready for pouring. Here I just want to make sure that you guys can see how I do it. And the intent behind this pour is that um, zebra stripes they're not perfect uh, or even so I want defined uneven and perfectly imperfect white and black stripes just have a look stabilized my camera so um, it was a little bit out of focus I wanted to keep the activated charcoal black as vibrant as possible so for the night I covered it up with another wooden mold on top and just to prevent soda ash. 
I think I'm really pleased with the end result. Especially knowing that the air humidity that day was about 80%. Okay, but let's have a look how those zebra stripes came out. Oh wow, look, I am super happy with that. It's just like perfectly imperfect as nature intended. Perfect, perfect, perfect zebra stripes. Well, that's just my opinion in any way. Um, so all that shaking and banging really has helped to unsettle the stripe. You enjoyed watching how I made African zebra stripe soap with activated charcoal and tea tree essential oil. Thanks for stopping by and visiting my studio and my channel. And I'll see you next time.